JKG back with another Diablo Immortal video. Just want to say thank you guys for all the support on the recent videos. We did have 300 subs as the mark for September and you guys smashed right through that. So we're going to go ahead and try to get to 350 subs by the end of September. I know it's only about a week here. A uh, little bit of time, but I do think the way y'all been showing support, I think we can get there. Uh, this one is going to be regarding the family bonuses. I know a lot of us are are moving, you know, especially on, on our server and, and other, some other servers. You know, we're in that position where our paragon, our server paragon level is is coming to that point where it's about time to be moving from hell four into hell five. And uh, then we're able to, you know, upgrade our gear and and. Uh, equip these family bonuses if we want uh so i kind of want to talk about that a little bit um i have the family bonuses pulled up here the wildfire set we get the little you know when we kill somebody we get a little hydra that that you know spawns in place and shoots out fireballs tremor set we have two percent chance to inflict about 7k damage based on my stats for one and a half seconds the jolt set we can have a two percent chance to attack and immobilize our attacker when they attack us. Uh, primary attacks have a chance to increase all damage we deal by 100%. So doubling our, our damage for one second, very short time. Uh, barrier set, you have a chance to gain, a chance when attacked to gain an absorption shield for six seconds. So kind of like a, a built-in Mount Banks setup. Uh, and then the Ravager set where we have the chance to defeat when we defeat an enemy to have corpse explosions uh similar to like a necromancer um the big thing and this isn't like barb specific but the big takeaway from these this chance is two percent and then on top of that it's two percent two percent when attacked um on on a couple of these you know to to do anything two percent when we defeat an enemy um it, it, it's the chance is very low in practice um one thing that i've seen also there's not really a visual indicator um for a lot of these like the wildfire set we get a hydra that spawns it's pretty shiny it's pretty shiny um the tremor set i equip i equipped i had equipped uh, a wildfire set a tremor set a jolt set a vengeance set and a ravager set <laughs> so i i tried them all um the only ones that have any kind of visual indicator to know when they go uh to when they proc is the wildfire set because you get the hydra uh, the jolt set you get one little tiny lightning bolt that comes down and that's it that that's actually it um the ravager set you know that your the corpses will explode but you know depending on what what um depending on what class you are and how your damage is structured you're probably not going to notice that either um barrier set will basically proc if you're running mountain banks it's going to be very similar to that um yeah it, the the vengeance set i thought was going to be really cool um to do double damage for one second but you never know when it goes there's no like the little icon doesn't pop up under your you know your your buff bar um if we just hop out here yeah the, the icon doesn't you know pop up under your buff bar here you don't get a visual indicator out here it, it's kind of kind of wonky and it, it's definitely a bummer but uh if we kind of go back in here i'll, I'll take I'll, I'll give you kind of my thoughts on it and you can kind of see i've i've kind of gone away broken up a lot of the sets uh that i did have um and still running the hydra <clears throat> just because these these stats were actually good the the main takeaway after trying the sets the, the family sets themselves is don't go for the family sets go for the actual the actual skills so like all skill damage increase is a definite good one that's one to to look out for primary attack damage increase 
you know, if you use your, if you're, you know, a, a class that uses your primary attack a lot, say like Demon Hunter, Barbarians, we can use our primary attack a lot, especially if we're running Frenzy. Um, that's good. Critical hit damage, <laughs> always going to be a good thing. Uh, attack speed increase is one that you're always going to want to have. That one is big. Um, damage to shielded enemies is not that big. I farm in a place where I run into shielded enemies a lot, so um i went ahead and left that on for now i am running lower on my reforge stone so that came into the you know the, the mix as well damage to elite enemies is not necessarily one that is a big deal for a barb specifically i think uh or excuse me that that one wasn't really too big of a deal uh, it does help when you get to like your bosses and stuff like that 3.5 percent increased damage is pretty nice uh, damage done by your summons. That one uh, is the one that I was thinking of when I was saying not so much great for a barb. Um, great for necromancer. Um, I think monk. This one would be pretty decent on as well. Uh, barb. I mean, unless you're running a golem build 24/7, I think this one isn't the biggest deal. Um, I have it mainly because I'm still going through Path of Blood, uh, and I do need to use my golems in Path of Blood. Uh, this one here, damage taken from players, reduced by half a percent. I would like to get the, I believe there's a higher one, 1%. Uh, I'm going to try to get to that one just for PvP. It's it nice to take less damage from, from actual players. Uh, cheat death increased by 5%. Not the biggest deal for a barb. Uh, other classes definitely might want to go ahead and, and stack that one if you can. Uh, this one here, duration of beneficial effects increased by 2%. Uh, this one, the duration of beneficial effects, I think every class wants this because if you have like a Vithu's plus this, you're just going to extend those buffs and extend those buffs and extend those buffs. It's going to be ridiculous. Um, again, primary attack damage, crit hit damage increase, uh, knockback resistance. I, I, I stuck with that one just because. Um, I've been doing a lot of PVP stuff lately and I would like to try to maybe see if, if, uh, that could help, you know, like not get knocked out of certain skills and things like that. Uh, but yeah, you can see, I, I this is basically the, the way to go broken sets, go for the best, you know, skills, go for the best skill multipliers, crit damage, attack speed, you know primary attack damage if you use your primary attack go for those go for the broken sets don't go for the actual family sets the family set bonuses are just not worth the effort um go for the go for the things that are actually going to help you do damage over a longer period of time and you're going to be a lot happier um I'm going to try to keep this one quick. I'm going to go ahead and cut it off there. If you have any thoughts on the family bonuses yourselves, if you are using the family bonuses and you like them, uh, definitely sound off down below. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, uh, definitely let me know down below. Uh, suggestions always welcome for future video ideas. I do definitely want to try to give you guys videos that you guys are liking. Uh, so definitely do that. Um, uh, again, 350 subs by the end of September. If you can if you like this video, drop a like, and, uh, yeah, I'm JKG. Y'all been amazing. Peace.